It really all this is is a uh, freedom of information complaint dressed up to look like a lawsuit. I mean, this is a bunch of Yale lawsuits that don't have much to do with their time. Yes, he did once call for Danbury police to be given the power to enforce immigration law, but he says the city was not involved in planning that raid. It was the feds. Fountain says the city played no part in the September 19th action, but doesn't think there would be a problem if it did. The arrests were part of a sting operation. A Danbury police officer posed as a contractor and drove a van to Kennedy Park. This is where he picked up workers willing to help tear down a fence. La sorpresa nosotros cuando bajamos the surprise was when we when we got out of the van, we were we were surrounded by a bunch of men and we were surprised and frightened because we didn't know what was happening. The lawsuit claims Danbury police overstepped their bounds by trying to enforce federal immigration law. Ted and Ann, this is where that sting was carried out, where those 11 workers got into a van driven not by a contractor, but by a police officer. A sting, an operation that a lawsuit filed today says was illegal. On the morning of the 19th, a Danbury police officer went undercover, posing as a contractor. He deceived day laborers at Kennedy Park into thinking he had a job for them. He drove them to a parking lot, where they were immediately surrounded, arrested, and placed in police custody. No questions asked. The sting operation was conducted with no specific targets in mind. The undercover officer picked up whomever he could get in the crowd of Latino day laborers. He had no idea of the plaintiff's names, where they were from, or what their immigration status might be. All he knew was that they were Latino day laborers standing in a place that the city didn't want them to stand. Without a formal agreement with ICE, which Danbury does not have, local police lack the authority to make civil immigration arrests. Federal courts across the country have consistently affirmed that only the federal government can enforce federal immigration law. Back in December, when you filed the FOI suit, um, Mayor Bowden on Channel 8 and on Channel 30 stated that Danbury police played no part in the raid. Mm -hmm. When did you find out that the Danbury police officer was driving the van. When did we find that out? What, what time? This was, uh, I think if I'm correct, Mayor Bob made these statements back in December. When yeah, did you find out? Right. Yeah, uh, we found out in, what was it, perhaps April? Um, that's right, so um, actually we've learned this in the immigration proceedings where we're seeking to suppress the unlawfully obtained evidence. The, the government uh, in their brief that they submitted to the court actually said that it was a Danbury police officer driving the van. And so uh, according to ICE, um, it was a Danbury operation. Besides the person driving that van, were there any other officers, Danbury police officers involved in the raid and if so, how? Absolutely. Um, they were on, in the parking lot when the men were arrested and were um, among those who surrounded the men at the parking lot and arrested them. Uh, they are named as defendants in this suit um, uh, because of the actions that they, that they have, that they did. Uh, and just, just for a little context of the background here, this is after Mayor, ba Mayor Bouton had sought to have the police authorization to enforce immigration laws. It was told by the state government or the federal government that, the state, that, the state government. The state government that they could not do that. That's right. So if what you're saying is true, did it, did, if, if the involvement of Danbury police officers, uh, officers is, what, is what you're saying it is, uh, does that violate state law, federal law, and, and well, it violates, what does that show? It violates the Fourth Amendment because it means they didn't have the authority to make the arrest that they carried out. And that's what we're alleging in, in, in this complaint. Um, you're absolutely right that the mayor has sought the authorization. Um, actually, he wanted to have state officers, state, um, uh, sorry, State troopers um, deputized through this memorandum of understanding and was denied. Um, 
the governor of Connecticut, Jerry Rell, decided that it was bad policy. Um, and so you're absolutely right that he, the mayor knows and the police chief knows how, they know how one would go about enforcing uh, civil immigration law at the local level. And it's only through this memorandum of understanding. Um, and yet they decided for whatever reason to do it anyway, uh, which is why we're being sued. Has the mayor clarified a statement that he made in December? Recently, we've been apprised of a lawsuit that's been filed by the Yale Law School against the city of Mary, Chief of Police, and Immigration Customs Enforcement. At this time, I have not seen or reviewed the complaint, because frankly, Yale didn't have the courtesy to give us a copy. So I'm not going to be able to comment on any details of the complaint or any allegations that are in the complaint. Did federal authorities contact you and ask you to perform this operation, or did you contact them for assistance? Who, who asked first? Well, I think at this point, again, without seeing the nature of the complaint, uh, is really something that we're going to discuss now, particularly because of the litigation. But that'll all come out of court. Well, we're not going to get a comment about the specifics of the case. We haven't read the complaint because we haven't received a copy of it yet. Um, but in terms of who assisted who are in, in, in the actual details and specifics of that uh, event, um, we just can't comment on that. The, the, the chief just said Danbury assisted us. Is that am I clear on that? Logistical assistance. Which is the nature of that assistance we're not going to discuss. Do you understand the chief's understanding? Who made the initial uh, arrests in this situation? Again, that's a detail of the operation we're just not going to discuss with you, Mark. We need to read Because that's a very public thing. I mean, well, I mean you know, who well, made the arrests? You or I? Well, you know, there's different opinions on that, but we're not going to we're not going to comment on that because we have read the complaint. We certainly don't know what the uh, nature of the complaint is.